So now we're assuming that you have a large mouse pad, at least 15 inches. We're also assuming you have a good mouse and are on 800 DPI. Now we get into the meat and potatoes, the sensitivity that you should play on. However, first, there's a few things we need to take care of. Number one, your multiplier. The default multiplier for Rainbow Six Siege is 0.02. I don't know what this number means mathematically, all I know is it's a bad, bad thing for players. A while ago, Kix made a video showing his sensitivity, which included talking about his multiplier and how to change it, and this is where I learned to change my multiplier, and I think I have better aim because of it. It's pretty straightforward. Here's how you do it. Go to Document, click on My Games, Rainbow Six Siege, click on the string of characters, and if you've played on more than one account, then you'll have multiple different folders like this. If this is the case, then do this process to all of them. Click on GameSettings.ini and scroll down until you find Mouse Sensitivity Multiplier Unit and change its value. So what multiplier should you use and what difference does it make? When you use 0 .002, we'll call it the new multiplier, instead of 0 .02, the default multiplier, it essentially takes the first 10 choices of your current sensitivity options, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, and expands them while eliminating the options that are unnecessary and too high. So with the new multiplier, the highest you can go is equivalent to the default sensitivity of 10. Why would we want to do this though? Well, going over 10 on the default scale is needless. A sensitivity that high isn't necessary, and it sure isn't optimal. But when 1 to 10 is expanded to 1 to 100, we can now more finely tune our sensitivity. That means if, for example, on the new multiplier, I play on 53, then that is equivalent to playing on 5.3 on the default scale, something that isn't possible. You would normally be stuck with either 5 or 6. In Kix's video, he used the multiplier 0 .00223. Using this multiplier will be slightly different than if you were to use 0 .002, but it really doesn't matter. To emphasize, it does not matter. The point is, add another zero to the right of the decimal and you'll be good to go. You'll be able to fine tune your sensitivity as a result. So now that you have the right mouse pad, the right mouse, and the right multiplier, you can start finding your perfect sensitivity. A huge recommendation I have is to change your ADS sensitivity to 83. What this does is makes your ADS sensitivity a 1 to 1 ratio with your hip fire sensitivity for all sights excluding ACOGs. This means iron sights, reflex, red dot, and holographic. This is better because this way your brain only has to get used to using one sensitivity. In games like CSGO, there only is one sensitivity, excluding a small amount of weapons. And it's no secret that CSGO players have incredibly precise aim. But in Siege, hip fire and aiming down sights are both present. And there are a lot of times when you are mid flick when you have to start aiming down sights. So it makes logical sense to have these sensitivities be the same, so to avoid the issue of you missing your shot due to a variance in sensitivities. Now finally to finding a perfect sensitivity. This is a bit of a process. Like I've said numerous times, it's not as simple as just tweaking your settings. So you'll need to get into a match with no time limit. And since you can't do that on custom matches, 11 minutes is the limit for customs, here's what you do. Go to matchmaking preferences, turn terrorist hunt to house and extract hostage only. Start a normal lone wolf T-hunt, kill all the enemies on the map, but don't grab the hostage. This way you don't have a time limit, and no more T's will spawn until you grab the hostage. So now you can go anywhere on the map. I recommend outside in the front by construction in the north. To find my perfect sensitivity, I use this video made by Corehaven, and I highly recommend you follow this process as well. I'll give a quick summary. Get a pen or pencil and a piece of paper. Find a small point to focus on in-game. This should be head level. You can shoot some bullets at one of the light poles or the walls out front by construction, and use those bullet holes as the focus point. Mess with your sensitivity settings in-game until one pass on your mouse pad is exactly 360 degrees in-game. And make sure you're aiming down sights the entire time and use any sight but an ACOG. Use the focus point to get this perfect. Once you have that number, write it down in the middle of the piece of paper at the top. This is your 360 cents. Now multiply the 360 cents by 1.5 and write this number to the right of the 360 cents. This is your high cents. Then take the original 360 cents and divide it by 2. This is a low sense. Write this on the left side of the 360 cents. So now you have three numbers horizontally at the top of the page. Now for the repeatable process. Change your settings to the high sense that you have written at the top right of your piece of paper. Stand back from the focus point and place your crosshair on it. Walk back and forth, left and right, not forward and backwards. And track the focus point. Do your best to keep the crosshair on the focus point while moving, and do this for at least 45 seconds. The Corehaven video said to do it for 5 minutes. You decide how long, just make sure you do it for a minimum of 45 seconds. Then do the same thing with the low sense. You need to pay attention to how this sensitivity is. Now, don't look at this subjectively. Don't say, this sense feels bad, or my arm is tired, or I don't like moving my arm so much. But look at it as objectively as possible. Ask yourself, is my crosshair staying on target? Is it shaking? Is it steady? Etc. 
To put it another way, look at this as if you are watching a recording of someone doing this process to judge the accuracy and steadiness of the sensitivity that is being tested, instead of actually feeling how it feels in your arm and hand. Only judge this based on what is happening in-game. Ask these questions for both the high and the low sensitivities, then cross out the one that you were less steady and accurate with. So take the two remaining numbers and add them, then divide them by two to get the average. Now write the average in the middle, the highest remaining number on the right and the lowest remaining number on the left side. Repeat the process same as before. To reiterate, test the high sense, test the low sense, and cross out which one you are less accurate with. Keep repeating this process until the options that you're comparing are so similar that the difference between the two is negligible. This number you end up on is the perfect sensitivity for you. You might disagree with that, but the thing about this is, it will take time to get used to it. Stick with it for at least 20 hours of in-game time. Like the introductory video said, people grow up using computers and mice that have a high sensitivity. It will feel wrong to use a sensitivity that's so low that you have to move your arm to aim. Stick with it. I had the exact same reaction when I did this process and got my sensitivity. It felt slow, it felt wrong, but I stuck with it just to see what would happen. And because of it, my aim has improved vastly. And yours will too.